Let's do the half double crochet stitch. Once you've got your initial foundation chain row, we will begin. In this example, I'm using a foundation row of 15 chains. Once you have your basic foundation chain row, you're going to chain an additional two stitches. This represents the height of a double crochet stitch. To begin, you want to identify the fourth chain from the hook. So we have one, two, three, and four right there. So to do a half double crochet, you will yarn over your hook, so you have two loops currently. You will then insert your hook into that fourth chain from the hook. You'll yarn over and pull through so that now you have three loops sitting on your hook. You'll yarn over once more and then you will pull through all three of those loops. And that's what a half double crochet looks like. It doesn't look like much yet because we're just sitting next to the chain two there. But we're gonna continue on, we're gonna do this again. So you will yarn over, find the next stitch which is right there, insert your hook, pull through. You want to make sure that you have three loops on your hook there. You will then yarn over again and pull through all three of those loops. And that is another half double crochet. So it's a nice little stitch because it, it just kind of cushions down, it sits nicely, it closes any gaps there. And well, let's do it again. Yarn over, Find the next stitch, insert your hook, you'll automatically have your next loop here ready to be pulled. Pull it through, you'll have three loops on your hook here, really important. You'll yarn over again and pull through all three. You'll yarn over, find your next stitch, insert your hook, yarning over pull through three loops are on your hook right now. You'll then yarn over and pull through all three. So that's the start of your half double crochet row. So I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way to the end here and I will meet you here so we can talk about how to turn your work and begin the second row. I'm coming up to the end of my first row here so I have two more stitches left. So I'm going to continue yarning over, insert my hook, pull through, always have three loops on the hook for the half double crochet, yarn over and pull through all three. And I have one more left. Remember, don't confuse it with your slip knot here. Yarn over, insert your hook, you'll yarn over again, pull through so you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three. So make sure to count so that you know you've got the right number of stitches. In my case, I started with 15 chains. And if I count along my stitches here, I know, which I've counted, that I have 15 half double crochets all the way across. That includes this chain one at the beginning here because remember, it represents the height of a half double crochet. So now moving on, we are going to chain two. Because remember, chain two is the height of a half double crochet. And then we will turn our work. Now because we've chained two, it's easy to want to go right into this first space here. But remember, that is the base of your initial stitch. So we don't want to crochet into that. We want to go into the next stitch. So you, we will yarn over, insert our hook into that next stitch, yarn over and pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. 
don't worry that this is looking a little bit uh, wonky here. It does, as you build more rows, it does straighten itself out, which I'll show you at the end of this row. So we'll do it again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. And remember the next full stitch, you should see that these two, see the top there? That are, you're going beneath both of those, okay? So that's the full stitch. You'll pull through with three loops on the hook and all three. Here we are coming up to the end of our second row. And right now it looks like we only have one stitch left, one real stitch left. But don't be fooled, this chain two needs to be worked into as well. So we'll do our half double crochet into the last identifiable stitch. And sometimes we'll look at it and go, oh, okay, I'm, I'm kind of done. But not really, because see how this bumps out here? We still have to work into that chain two. So don't be afraid. Sometimes if it's a little hard to see on this side, just flip it over here. So see how it's chain one, two. So I want to go into the back or into the top of that one. So I will work a half double crochet into the top of that stitch there. Okay, yarn over and pull through all three. And there we have it. So, and I've counted, so I know I have 15 stitches all the way across, including always that chain two. And again, as you work more rows, each um, set of chain two ends will straighten themselves out. So there you have it. This is the half double crochet stitch. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it helpful. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see any more tutorials or check out some of our Stitch Session conversations. Until next time.